use of pointers in self referential structures a self referential structure is a data structure which is essential a structure definition which includes at least one member that is a pointer to the same structure of its same type a chain of such structures can be expressed with a node node representation that is this particular concept which will be useful for implementing the linked list so this will be helpful for you whenever you go for the next subject called data structures so here there we have a linked list representation which we represent with the self referential structure so let us see the syntax here struct followed by name open the curly brace the member list member 1 member 2 and so on but here according to the definition we should have at least one member which is pointing to the same structure type so here struct name star ptr struct name or star pointer followed by semicolon close the structure name so this will represent the self referential structure so use of pointers in self referential structure in linked list a linked list is supposed to be self referential data structure it is represented by a node so a node has a data part and a link part so data part will store the data and the link part will store the address of next node the next node of node is being pointed which is of same structure type that is what the concept behind the self referential structure linked list node representation struct node so under this we have int data part struct node star link which is giving the link of next node and close the curly brace semicolon here struct node star link is a self referential structure which is pointing to the same structure type this is used to represent the chain of nodes we can form a linked list let us see one example program the next problem statement is to understand the concept of self referential structure a self referential structure is a structure which calls itself is called as self referential structure now here i am going to uh, initialize the self referential structure so in order to initialize the self referential structure we are going to create a name called node node int data1 associated with the node in data2 associated with that node and this is where the implementation of self referential structure so this is what very very important self referential structure so if you are confident in using this self referential structure this will be useful for you for implementing the linked list and all in the data structure object so this is very very important implementation of a node so here we have data1 data2 and struct node so struct node followed by star link which means you are, you are going to refer to the same node type which consists of again two data that is data1 and data2 next once the self referential structure is been given as part of this next we are going to initialize the node with an object1 so this is with the object1 we are initializing the value so ob1.link so there is a link that link Link I am giving it as null, which means there is nothing. There is nothing mapped for next ob1. Ob1 is an object one dot data one equal to ten. So I am initializing the data one value as ten. Next object one dot data two equal to twenty. So I have initialized the values of object one. Next uh, struct node object two. So I am initializing the objects of two objects. That is object two dot link is null. Object two dot data one is thirty. Object two dot data two equal to forty. Now I am linking, linking. object1 and object2 i am linking object1 and object2 so how can i link it object1 dot link equal to address of object2 object1 dot link equal to address of object2 so once we have given the link we can access the data members of object2 using object1 so this is how we can access that is percentile d ob1 dot link arrow so if you want to access this element 
which are stored in data one. So I'm going to use arrow sign. Actually, we should access this 10, but you are going to access the second object data because you have given the link to the second object. So your output will be 30 for object one dot link arrow data one and object one dot link data two, your output will be 40 because you have access for object two. Now let me execute this code and check whether you are getting the correct result or not. So 30 and 40, you have access 30 and 40 with object one dot link. So this is how self-referential structures will be implemented. So once again, I will give a definition of self-referential structure just for your remembering it. And it is very, very important topic in order to go for the next subject called data structures in which you are going to implement linked list and all, right? So the definition of a self-referential structure is a structure which calls itself is called as self-referential structure. And it is defined like this, struct node is the name of the structure you are calling with the same name and you are going to give it a link so this is how you are going to create a pointer reference and you are going to give the link right so this is how you are going to represent the self-referential structures